Hello and welcome to another Steam VR Unity Toolkit example tour. And this example scene is 023 controller, child of controller on grab. And this is a new uh, grab attach type um, where it picks up the object and it actually makes that object that you've picked up a child of the controller. Um, so it gives a very similar uh, experience to the fixed joint where it gives you very, very good tracking. However, because it's part of the controller, it's an extension of the controller, it will pass through objects. It will be taken out of the uh, the physics uh, simulation. So it's very good for picking up objects that you don't want to accidentally drop, whether it's a gun or in this case, um, a bow and arrow. Um, so I'll give you a, a quick look at the um, the new setting. So on the the grab mechanics, it just says uh, grab a uh, grab attach mechanic child of controller. So once you've set to that, when you pick this object up, it will actually just become within uh, whichever controller has picked it. So that will move underneath here to sit next to the model. Um, and then you can turn the model off as well by uh, hiding models, uh, hiding the controller models on grab. Um, and it works really well in that with the bow and arrow, you can't accidentally knock it out of your hand. And obviously, because you've picked up um, a bow and you've got an arrow in the other hand, when you put them together, you don't want any force colliding against them. That would happen with the, the fixed joint, because as soon as you did that, they would fall apart uh, or fall away from each other because the force of hitting them would would uh, detach the uh the joint so having them as a child you can bring them together and they can then interact with each other um i won't go too much into the bow mechanics at the moment i know a lot of people um really want bow mechanics but i'll do a separate video talking about the bow how the bow is made how you would make your own bow and how you could improve it this is really more about the uh the new uh grab attach mechanic um, so let's get into the game world and I will show you it working and I'll give you a, a quick look at the bow and arrow mechanic as well. So you can see this is the new uh, grab mechanic. As I pick the bow up, it completely clips through things because it's childed to the controller. It won't disjoint like the fixed joint would do, um, which is really useful. I can also do the same with the arrow. It completely clips through as well. There's no problem. It's good for the bow. Then I can attach it to the bow. And then as I pull the bow back, you can see the bow uh, animates in a nice way. We've got the arrow spawner here, which allows me to put my hand in and just grab an arrow out, which I can then attach to the bow and fire again. And if we want, we can also pull one from at the back of our head because we've got another arrow spawner behind our head. So if we grab the arrows out of the spawner as well, they're just normal objects that we can put down on the table and there's one from the back of my head, we can just put them down. And then because they're interactable objects, we can pick them back up again and we can attach them to the bow and we can fire them again. And we can put them on different sides of the bow and fire them accordingly. So we can just shoot these arrows at the targets around the scene. This is definitely my favorite example scene so far of the toolkit. It's good fun to just use the bow and arrow and shoot the, uh, the targets. Um, I'd like to give a big shout out to the developer behind the uh, bow and arrow scripts, uh, which was Blue Teak. I'll put an, uh, a link to his YouTube channel below. He's also working on a bow and arrow game for the HTC Vive. It looks really cool. He's doing a, a dev blog on that. But that's going to be the end of this video. So if you like this, please leave me some likes, leave me some comments and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back in the future with some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.